So in this video, what we'll do is we will look into the median of a discrete frequency distribution. Now say for example, we've got this frequency distribution, right? Uh, we've got the variates and we've got the frequency. The variate is like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the frequency is say like 9, 6, 4, 10, 12, 7, 8, 13, and 14. So now what do you do with this? Now how do you find the median of this discrete frequency distribution? What we have to do in this is we need to find something called as a cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is nothing but we need to take the first frequency and write 9. And then from the second on it will be 9 plus 6 that will be 15. Next it will be 15 plus 4 that is 19. Next will be 19 plus 10 that is 29. Next will be 29 plus 12 that is 41. Next will be 41 plus 7 that is 48. Next will be 48 plus 8, which is 56. Next, 56 plus 13, uh, which will be 69. And then 69 plus 14, which will be 83. So this is how a cumulative frequency is got. You know, you just have to write the first one and then add 9 plus 6, 15 plus 4, and so on. You get a cumulative frequency. So what you do next is you need to add the entire frequency. You know, find the sum of this. So you get what? 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 4 is 19, 19 plus 10 is 29, 29 plus 12 is, well, it is actually 83 if you see, right? This is, I mean, it's 83. So now what you have to do is, now this is called as n, all right? Now just divide this by 2. So you have n by 2, that is 83 by 2, which is uh, 41.5. So in the cumulative frequency, just look to something that is that is just greater than 41.5, which is 48 in this case. So the variable corresponding to 48, which is 6, so 6 is the median of this frequency distribution. So that is how you find the median of a discrete frequency distribution. The median in this case is 6. But of course, there are some advantages and disadvantages as far as the median is concerned because, you know, it's not every time it's not like really accurate and all these things. So there are certain conditions where, you know, uh, mean is used to find the average or median is used to find the average or mode is used to find the average. So we will discuss about those things in, in, in the forthcoming videos. So in this video, let us concentrate just how to find the median of a discrete frequency distribution. So here, let me quickly take you through once more. This is the frequency distribution which you've got here, a discrete one at that. After that, you find the cumulative frequency. You just have to add successively. You know, you first take 9 as it is and then add 9 to 6. You get 15, then 15. You know, add this, you get this, then add this, you get this. Positive, you know, you just add it. And then 19 plus 10, you get 29 and so on. Once you get this, you know, this is going to be the sum anyway. So then divide this capital N by 2, then whatever value you get, find the next higher value in the cumulative frequency and the variate corresponding to that is going to be the median. So this is how you find the median of a discrete frequency distribution. So this ends this uh, little explanation. In the forthcoming video, I let's solve a problem based on a median of a discrete frequency distribution.